In this video, we're going to build the backbone of a basic hip-hop beat. Let's go to Renoise, and you can look wherever you have it located on your computer. You want to navigate to True School's Renoise Starter Pack. When you go inside of there, I have some tools that will help you get started with Renoise and start to build out a basic uh, drum beat. So I'm going to close some of these windows so that we don't have to see as much. What we're really going to focus on here is the pattern editor. Now in Renoise, um, tracks go from top to bottom and time actually uh, goes from zero, line zero, to line 64. And each one of these is like a little slot in time where you can trigger a sample and have it play in time. Uh, and so let's set our beats per minute for about 110. We'll make sure we're in octave four on our keyboard. And let's go in to our XR and I drum kits in the Renoi starter pack and choose the TC808. You may have heard of an 808. It is a legendary hip-hop and electronic music drum machine that's used in countless uh, of your favorite records. And now you can have all the sounds from that legendary unit for free in Renoise to play in your own recording. So it's a great way to start off getting some time-tested uh, drum sounds that you can use in your projects. So when I play along the uh, bottom of the keyboard, I'm going to press the Z key, and you hear I get that nice drum sound for a kick drum. And uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to put my cursor right on line double zero. I'm going to press the record key, and that's going to make it so I get this red circle around the pattern editor. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a kick drum every eight lines. So I have a kick drum on double zero and I have one on, on zero eight. My next one's going to be 16. So you can just do your times tables and count up by eight every time. You can also use these little guidelines. Uh, every fourth line is highlighted so you can just skip the next guideline and go to the next one. Oop, I did too many so I can go back up with my arrow key and press delete to get that one out of there. I can go down this way, put them all in. Okay. Now, uh, I just turned off recording. Now I'm going to go over to my next track, track number two. And I'm going to put my cursor right on line four. I'm not recording now, so I'm going to play around with the bottom keys on my keyboard from Z to X. C, V, B, N, and M. So the snare sound, V, it, it's, it's on key V. So if I press the V key here, it will trigger. What I want is to make this backbone of my beat, I'm going to put a snare on each one of the highlighted lines where there's no kick drum. So it's going to go kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, back and forth. Um, and so I can go back into recording mode or press the escape key on my keyboard to enable recording and put that in there and navigate down eight lines and put in a snare. Now this is great, but you see this little uh, number here where it says 1, I'm going to put this up to 8. And what this does is every time I enter a note, it will automatically do that 8 line skipping for me. So I can just go like that, and now I've got my pattern all filled out. I could even hold down the snare, and it would just put them all in. Now. When I turn off recording, I'm going to play it back, and you'll hear what the backbone of our beat sounds like.
And you can see the pattern starts over again. Everything is in time. It's a little bit boring. It's kind of a stomping sort of rhythm, but it works for keeping basic time and kind of holding the rest of our beat together. Okay, so to give it a little bit more interest, uh, let's open up the folder called XR and I Drums. Another really critical component of uh, nice rhythms is the hi-hat. So if we open up hi-hats, you'll see we have a nice selection of CH hi-hats, closed hi-hats, and open hi-hats. Okay? And so, uh, oh, I also have the uh, closed and open hi-hats from the TR-808. Let's use those. So I'm going to take the closed hi-hat and put it up in slot number one. I want to take the open hi-hat and put it in slot number two. Let's start with the open hi-hat. Hi-hats are great to put on the upbeat of a pattern. So that's represented on line two. So I'm, I'm in a new track on line two. And now, since I have this instrument selected, uh, my Z key is going to play the open hi-hat sound at its original pitch. Okay, so I'm going to modify my step ahead counter to four. I'm going to press escape to record. And I'm going to put a hi-hat on every other upbeat. So when we go back and listen to it, it gives our beat a little bit more um, a, a little bit more movement okay now I'm gonna move to the closed hi-hat and on the one and fours I'm gonna put one of those so again pressing Z with the closed hi-hat selected I'll press escape to enter record mode and just press C. Okay, that's pretty good. In a fifth track, I'm going to go up to symbols and I'm just going to add a TR-808 symbol into my slot 3 instrument. I'm going to enter record mode, and I'm just going to press Z to enter one of those on the very first line, line double zero. What this does is puts a symbol at the beginning of my pattern, so it sort of uh, has a little accent right when the bead starts. Okay, now that's shaping up pretty good. Uh, one last thing I want to do, because my beat is kind of boring, is I want to add some more kick drum to it, but I'm going to do it a little different way. I'm going to add, let's see, how about a uh, pressure? How's this sound? No. That's nice, the flat one. Now when I press Z, then... I can play along with my sample. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on recording and then I'm going to press play. And this will put it into live recording mode. So it's going to count off for me and then let me play my notes in live wherever I think they sound good. Okay, that's not my best work, but you can see how instantly the beat sounds a lot more alive and kind of human and not quite so robotic. Uh, if I don't like that, I can go back through and I can right click and just say column. Uh, let's see, I can go column select and delete. Oh no, I have to do, I have to put this back to, to one. 
and then just go through and delete everything. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that's a little more lively, pretty good. Now you can see that our beat has uh, a little bit more life. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add some more samples into your beat.